Oh shit, what the hell is going on? <laughs> oh, what the f man? <laughs> I can't believe this day. Hello. Hello. And chef then again. And a chef then again. Yes. By the way, did we tell the viewers what we are cooking today? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We are cooking donkatsu. I was. I would say stop. Stop. Man, how the hell am I gonna describe this in the cooking instruction? <laughs> <laughs> and the editor is like, fuck man, what am I supposed to write? <laughs> if I didn't say stop, the subtitle just say wait till Nick say stop. <laughs> done, 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 done. Enough. Find out, I guess. Do you have anchovies? No, man. <laughs> this fuck. <laughs> Can't believe this dick. <laughs> But... The viewers have voted, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, regarding that, Dude, the, this is like the election between Dude, Trump and, the... <laughs> and Joe Biden. <laughs> what, what about we wait till 5,000 people vote? But the thing is, we don't even have 5,000 views. <laughs> exactly, that's my point. It motivates people to be more engaging, man. This is a smart strategy, right? Get the butter out. We need to soften the butter. Can you put it in, in your underwear? Taste my ass. No, seriously. Let's do it, man. Yeah, I'm serious as well. You have to keep my ass. No, seriously. Come on. What? Why? To soften it, like I said. Because cause it's pretty cold in Australia, yeah? But my balls are cold, though. Just put it in a plastic bag and put it in your underwear. Seriously. Okay, guys. First time ever. <laughs> We're gonna walk. <laughs> dude, we, dude, we are like... <laughs> We are like the pioneer of new cooking methods. Imagine, right? The, the head chef, okay, put the butter in your butt. But and they think it's like a metaphor and they don't do it. And I said, put the fucking butter in your butt. What are you doing? In. Okay, good. Hey, man. It works though. Now what? Okay. Oh shit, that's strong. If you keep bashing it, you'll become too thin. No. So when you fry it, you lose all the meat juices. Because when it's too thin and you fry it at a high temperature, yeah. there's a very large surface area yeah. for the moisture within the meat to dissipate. One more. Use the fork and beat the egg first. Yeah, just touch the meat though. No, no it's fine. Because that's the one you're eating? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Nah, man, I'm kidding, man. You're gonna put the meat in the end anyway, you fucking dick. <laughs> Don't fucking waste my time, man. <laughs> oh, you gotta cover it more. Stop. And then for the other plate, put a panko. Now, is there a reason why Japanese bake crumb is special? Western bread crumb, right? Yeah. They dry it and then they just grind it until it's like a powder. And then they use it on dishes like, you know, chicken snitsu. Japanese bread crumb, right, is more flaky because they, I think they use like electricity to, to make, make it or something. Like. So that when you fry it, yeah. you get all this texture from it. Yeah, flakiness. Like your fucking dandruff. For those people who can't find panko, just don't wash your hair for one week. <laughs> Do you still have the oil that we used the other time? Oh, about that, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened? Yeah, let... After we cooked, right? Yeah. I so couldn't be bothered. I didn't wash it and left it there yeah. in the room temperature for like four days. Yeah. So I had to throw it away. Now you don't. It's oil. Really? Yeah. I... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> you fucking dumb fuck tram shit. <laughs> oil shit away when you can reuse it. So they recycle oil all the time? Do you know there was like this uh, food safety incident previously in China? They get the oil from the drain, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and they reuse those oil. <laughs> we need to reuse water as well, right? So if you need to boil water, just go to the toilet. <laughs> you know how I have a water filter, right? I should just piss into it. Do you remember yeah. that prawn um, paste we made? Have you played a game when you were in like primary school or something? I still yeah. have that. You know? We're gonna use it in this video, man. Yeah. Now smear the prawn paste onto the pot chop. For those of you who don't have prawn paste, right? Watch our previous video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flip it, flip it quick.
What's it called? Innovative shit, man. We're gonna re revolutionize Dongasu, man. D yeah, man. I think we should start a restaurant. Seriously. I can guarantee you guys, right? With the prawn paste, it tastes three times as good. Oh, yeah? The prawn paste, right, is gonna yeah. add as a protective layer. It locks in a lot more moisture. Because pork actually dries out quite easily. Unless you have like really high quality pork. Really. Is the band on high? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> the stove is like covered in so much grease. <laughs> the sensor can't yeah, read your touch. It, <laughs> Wait, just... Oh shit, what the hell is going the... on? <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man? <laughs> just shut up, shut up. Pull the pan towards the front. So that pull, away from the heat. Pull, pull the pan away from the heat. Put it into the front. Yes. Put oh. it. Okay. Put it here. Oh. Don't worry, man. Oh. I'm here. Yes. Right. The reason why we don't want to put it directly on the kitchen towel, right? Yeah. It's because if we do that, the moisture is going to make the, the coating soggy. Hey, what was the point of making the egg? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? You forgot? Don't worry, man. I got it all under yeah. control, I think, man. I think you, just, you're... Dude, just shut the fuck up and listen, bro. Just put everything into the fridge first. Chuck into the fridge. Use your leg to open it. Whatever, man. Dude, you 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 put the stuff on the floor, right? And then the viewers are gonna comment. Oh, it's not hygienic to put shit on the floor, man. <laughs> then eat out of the toilet bowl, man. It's immune to bacteria, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, five tablespoons of water. Fuck. To get five tablespoons of water. You waste one gallon of water. <laughs> the water just keep running up down the sink. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. <laughs> oh man. Yes. Yeah, and uh, enough, enough. Ground pepper. Quick. Can I just leave it? Dude, wait, 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 wait. What do we do with the butter? What? It's been sitting up my ass for like the last 30 minutes. <laughs> it's it it's melted. Now? Yeah, it's completely softened. <laughs> wait, don't tell me you fucking fly. No, 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 no. Of course I remember. Now put that, put that back into the fridge. What? What was the point of. <laughs> don't you know how butter. The word butter come about. Butter was actually invited, in, invented by the Vikings, you know. They accidentally discovered butter from milk. The Vikings on the boat, they don't have like microwave, they don't have shit, right? So they softened the butter with their butt. What? <laughs> yeah, that's how the word butter comes about. Yeah, right. Kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I almost believed this fucker. <laughs> Every shit, up, shit out, put it in one corner. What the fuck? Yeah, it's yeah, uncooked! Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Dude! Nick fucking made a mistake! It's Nick's fault! I can't believe this, Nick! Eat the one or the extreme left and on the extreme right. Take a look at this one. Yeah, it's cooked, look! Yeah, I better get cooked, it's in the end. <laughs> Let me look at the one in the middle. Look at that. The, no, dude. It's pink dude. like a. This is safe to eat, man. Yeah, fuck you. I'm not gonna eat that. <laughs> just get the pieces that are cooked and put it on the plate. That's just this, though. <laughs> put that. <laughs> the second piece is cooked as well. Wait, the second piece, wait. No, it's not cooked. It's pink as fuck. Nah, it's good to eat, man. Trust no, me. No, what are you talking about? I will send you a video later. Send a like video the video of someone who got sent to the house. No, no, no listen, listen. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I will send you a video of the best Tongasu restaurant in Japan, right? They serve it like this, man. And there's a hospital next to you. <laughs> that both partners. <laughs> Dude, fucking trust me, man. Put some mayo on the side. See? Put the mayo to cover the pink Shut one. the fuck up and put some mayo. I had the okay, oven now, now. on, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, drizzle on top. Not too much. Mmm. See? Oh. It's good, yeah? Fuck, that's fucking good. Yeah, I told you, man. You this is called perfectly cooked, man. Mmm, mmm. 
Mm. Ah, damn it, man. You wasted all my fucking time trying to persuade you. Fucking dumb fuck. Oh, this is the best tonkatsu I've ever eaten. Of course, like I said, man. It's perfectly cooked, man. If it's like completely white, right? Yeah. That's actually a little bit overcooked. There's this misconception that pork or chicken has to be like completely cooked, you know what I mean? It's more on the butchering process. So if the pork is like free range and the butchering process is all good, right? Uh, but to our viewers, right? If you want to eat it like this, you got to get like good quality meat, okay? Don't get the pork chop from some Chinese butcher because you're going to get food poison because of the hygiene and shit. So fucking good. Oh my God. It's not overly chewy, you know what I mean? Mm. It's like... Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.